Hey, this is Fred from The Fly Project, talking today about some benefits of using a full cage reel for trout spay versus the contemporary half cage or um, basically not a full cage. That looking style right there. So when um, you are fishing with a head system where you have a thin running line, Sometimes the, uh, the running line can actually jump as you're stripping line off the reel. It can actually find its way into a little gap there and come right through the fly reel. And that is really bad, especially if it, uh, if it happens um, when you're not aware of it and then you hook a fish and suddenly your line is in the wrong spot or potentially will bind up on there. Um, that has happened to me and has cost me some, uh, some fish in the past. Just to show you an example, this is a, an old fly reel that um, has had a lot of use, caught hundreds of fish, and the tolerances are getting a little loose. And even a, a contemporary fly line or a coated line, not a full cage or not a, um, a running line, I can just pull that right through that slot, that gap, which is definitely a bad thing. With a full cage reel, that's impossible because that cage slots in and once that line is run through there properly there's no way for that uh, that line to jump so looking at the reel with the full cage and when that running line is on there you can see how the line feeds through the cage and there's no way for it to jump out of the reel frame off of the spool and get tangled up or obstructed in any way once that's fed through there and the spool's locked down, that line cannot be pulled from the cage. So that's definitely a benefit, primarily when you're using a thin running line, but even, um, even with a, uh, a coated line, there are some reels and some tolerances that, uh, that just don't keep that line stayed, you know, doesn't stay put. So just to show you some examples of some full cage reels that we really like for, uh, for spay applications and trout spay, um, this is our OC reel. And as I demonstrated, it does have a full cage. The uh, Sage Spay Series or Trout Series, their reels also feature that full cage design. And then some of the older styles like the Loop Classic, um, this reel has a full cage. It doesn't even have a palming rim. It's just entirely enclosed, so you're completely relying on your drag setting. But you'll never have to worry about your line jumping anywhere out of that spool once it's, uh, it's been tied in. So contemporary reels, um, I think people refer to this as a rim spool. Um, you definitely have an open palming rim, which you do on some of these full cage reels as well, which I prefer. Um, but this, um, this reel foot, it fits in there nicely um, when the reel is new and if it's the tolerances are good you shouldn't actually have any issue with running line jumping through there but sometimes under load and under stress there can be some flex and that line can jump through also as, as reels get older um, sometimes those tolerances sometimes those spools just loosen up and they will not hold tight enough and then it's much more likely for that that line to jump so there's definitely a longevity factor with the full cage design. Um, these reels are likely to last you through a lot more fishing situations, a lot more years than the new contemporary reels. When um, I rig up for my trout space setups, I generally run or always choose to run my running lines on a full cage reel. And when I fish an integrated line, I'm not so worried about it. So I will often set up my Scandi full integrated line on one of our um, Montucky reels. It's not a full cage, uh, but I've never had a problem with that line jumping. So you can certainly choose the, uh, the reel based on your needs. Uh, one more thing uh, about that full cage design is if you drop the full cage, which I have dropped these reels on rocks, I've dropped them off of cliffs accidentally, of course, and I uh, had no problem with them. You can take a beautiful hatch reel like this Fanatic 5 and drop this thing and if that little foot gets bent it's suddenly rubbing against the spool and the reel basically becomes unfunctional with simply a, uh, a hard knock. 
So that is an unfortunate reality with that design. And that's something you'll never have to worry about with your full cage. So if you have any questions or comments about those, uh, the things that I've talked about, please let us know. Otherwise, uh, those are some reasons to uh, go full cage versus not the full cage and uh, tight lines. <laughs>